Well, hey everybody, it's Sandy, and welcome back to my channel dedicated to helping you advocate for your own health one topic at a time. So I wasn't planning to upload a video today at all. I just did one yesterday with the nose clip retrofitted for a face mask, and I, no sooner did I get that uh, video online than I noticed I had a message in my inbox from Sonovia. Now, I'm interested in finding out if any of you guys got this same email. I think maybe it's a function of the fact that you have purchased a mask with them, uh, or maybe I'm the only one who got it, I doubt it, but anyway, they have some results from their most uh, recent research, and I wanted to share that with you. Um, I'll also weave in a little bit of QA that's come up in the last couple of days. Uh, so, yeah, so as I had said in my first uh, review of the Sono Mask by Sonovia, uh, oops, let me put that right side up, that... Um, at the time, they were not able to test the mask against with COVID-19. Uh, it's hard to obtain samples of that virus for study, and I would suppose that if any particular lab has it, then you kind of have to get in line if you want to test your product. So they had, up until now, only tested um, with a similar virus. Um, they've since tested uh, a lab in China and then most recently a lab, an independent lab in Austria, um, their product with the COVID-19 virus and they, the percent effectiveness of the Sonovia Sono mask against COVID-19 is, get ready for it, 99.9999. That's four nines after the decimal place. 99.9999% effective against the COVID-19. Um, yeah, this is better than I thought. I, I had said before, I think I've got it written in some of the comments that I suspected it was going to be just like they suspected, somewhere around 99. I didn't expect it to be approaching 100. Um, I'm very happy for them. I'm, I'm kind of very happy for um, those of us or anybody who's bought this because of anything that I've said. Um, and, you know, I realized after I read this that I felt... Uh, like a lot of weight come off. Now, I think this is part of putting yourself out there and that's fine. I can handle that. But, um, you know, I noticed that as I was answering questions for people over the last few weeks, I've gotten all kinds of questions like, what would you do in this case scenario? What would you do about this decision? Uh, what would you recommend here? And, you know, I've always been careful to say that, you know, until we have um, all the research and we probably still don't have it all, um, but until we have um, more and more and more data, there's always a little bit of speculation here. But I felt strongly that this was a good product based on the research I had done and how transparent the company seems to be with answering questions and um, offering me uh, literature citations when appropriate. Um, but, you know, it still feels, I have to say, it, it, was, it, was, it really feels like a lot when somebody says, well, I bought this based on what you said, or I, I bought this for my child um, based on something that you said. And, um, you know, that sort of was the genesis of this channel was that I, I've always enjoyed um, doing the research and digging in and, you know, figuring something out and getting to an answer for something that's, you know, kind of not really widely out there. Um, and overall, I've had a lot of success doing that with my family and my close friends, and I thought maybe YouTube would be just a wider platform for that. So, um, you know, I'm happy to celebrate this little victory right here um, for all of us. And, you know, uh, that brings me to another point, which is maybe a little more housekeeping. Um, the converse of that is also true. I, look, I know that I'm not ever going to um, find a solution for something, it, it, be it a product or otherwise, that everybody is going to like. So, of course, I've heard from people that saying that, you know, I had this experience with the company. I've, I've had, you know, that experience. It was bad customer service or, you know, whatever they said. Um, the overwhelming majority of people that have contact me, contacted me about Synovia have told me that they've had experiences like mine, which um, my experience with this company has been excellent. Um, but that there's no product out there that you know, everybody's going to agree with me on, um, and, and otherwise, not only products. So, um, yeah, I'd be interested in your feedback on that. Uh, and I'm not fishing for like compliments or anything, but I, I still, I found this to be very enlightening. I'm new at using this platform and using this particular skills, um, in this way. So, Anyway, I did want to also just answer a quick question that came up just twice in the last few days, which is whether I had any knowledge of um, whether for people with asthma or the like, there was any issue with the inhaling, leaving this on with the zinc nanoparticles and inhaling any zinc. Um, I had asked that question of Synovia a while back, and they gave me a very detailed answer. Um, they listed a citation. I will 
put that in the comment box below, um, the research citation. And um, the more uh, persuasive answer is not even that, because that has to do with more like zinc in the body and um, toxic levels of zinc versus safe levels of zinc and things like that. But um, the more persuasive point is that um, in the Synovia mask, Unlike a lot of other masks that claim to be antimicrobial, there's no coating. This, the zinc on here is not a coating that can therefore come off. They somehow use the ultrasound technology to fuse it so it becomes part of the fabric. Okay, so um, I did feel comfortable with that. Um, let me know your thoughts. Uh, it seemed like people were satisfied with the answers that were there, but if not, let's ask some more questions. Um, I hope that you guys will... Um, tell me about other content that you would like to hear about, because as I had said, my goal really for this channel is to have a wider scope, although I want to certainly be on, on the same page as, you know, what people are interested in right now. So um, for those of you who haven't subscribed, if you're watching this, I hope you'll consider subscribing. Um, I hope you'll share the content with anybody who you think might find it helpful. And again, I always appreciate the engagement. It's really been a pleasure. Like, actually, le I'm learning how to do this as we go. So um, that's a lot of fun. And until next time, be well. Bye-bye.